year old from Hoover is on a mission that has taken him across the country feeding the homeless. Hannah Ward got to see him at work today helping others in Lynn Park. In a world that's often too busy, people don't even take the time to stop and look around. People get so caught up in whatever, whatever they have going on with their jobs, with their own children, that they forget that there's a world full of people that just needs to be loved. This preschooler realized this at a young age. What are we doing today, bud? Feeding the homeless. Feeding the homeless. And turned it into his full-time job. Because I want it to show love. Austin told me he does not like when he's hungry. It feels like my stomach is hurting. So he doesn't want anyone else to be hungry either. Drinking sandwich. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate you. That a four-year-old can take a look and go, you know, these people need help. Can we help them? You don't see that even in, in grown people a lot of times. Can I have a hug? Yes. I can. Providing <laughs> basic essentials for your belly. Thank you, little guy. And your heart. Remember to show love to everyone else. Will do. Just like I am giving him valuable lessons, he's giving me valuable lessons. And he's showing me how to love. It means that you care about something, someone, and no matter what they look like. His love traveled to D.C., Mobile, and will be in Nashville next month. He says it makes him smile to see other people happy. <laughs> That's a big smile. Love is simple, but it's something our world needs to be reminded of daily. Remember to show love to everybody else. All right. Thank you, little guy. He may be four, but he's a giant. Hannah Ward reporting there. We'll continue because we're not having a 100-year celebration of the building. We're having a 100-year celebration. The West Point Baptist Church in Calhoun County planning to rebuild after their building sustained serious damage. Their church basically split in two. Our Hannah Ward joins us live from the church now continuing our team coverage. Hannah. Sarah, Governor Ivey just stopped by within about an hour ago. We spoke with her as she got out of the vehicle here, just kind of looking over all of the damage in this area. We have some video of her visit that we'll show you right now. As I was speaking with her, I was telling her some of the incredible stories that we've heard around this area. Now, we were here at the church last night, but really did not see the extensive damage that was around the church because it was so dark. But as we were able to look around, I was telling her stories about people who survived in a house just one block away from a church. She was also, also speaking with the congregation, giving them encouragement as well as the pastor, asking the pastor when they'll plan to have church on Sunday. And he said, you know what, we're still trying to figure that out, but we're going to figure it out. And we have faith that it's all going to work out. Governor Ivey asked her what advice she has for the congregation. This is what she said. He said that the congregation has already been thinking about how to expand the space and build larger rooms and he said now we've got that opportunity. Yes ma'am. What As would a, you want to tell their congregation? Praise God and let us keep on serving. And I tell you what, guys, that is exactly what this church plans to do. I spoke with the pastor and he says, you know what? It's not about the building. It's about the people inside the building and the people inside this building plan to continue to worship no matter what building they're inside. We're live in Jacksonville. Hannah Ward, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side. But today in Ms. Miller and Ms. Easterling's class, it is market day. Students have saved up these tickets for good behavior all year long, and today they have the choice to spend them at a market. Each fourth grader came up with a homemade idea for their market booth. One student chose to give part of himself. How many do you want? All to support Miss Easterling. It was too familiar. I knew when she closed my classroom door that the news wasn't what we had hoped for. A few months shy of Miss Miller celebrating three years cancer free, Miss Easterling, her dear friend and teaching partner, is diagnosed with breast cancer. Just kind of stopped me in my tracks. Little did she know she was not the only one being slammed with these same familiar and painful emotions. When my mom and dad first told me that Miss Easterling had breast cancer, it was like I've gone through it so many times. I wanted to support her and, you know, 
I kind of know what it feels like because I've had my aunt that had it and my mom's best friend. So <clears throat> I don't exactly feel what they go through, but I can kind of, I can feel that it's not the best thing. Yeah, just write your name in your homeroom, which is Miller. To see a child doing something, it just really hits you that they care enough to sacrifice part of them because they don't know what else to do and you know financially they can't make a large donation you know to an organization or a foundation and um, but they want to do something. So with these tickets and a school market Eli creates a priceless gesture of hope and support for Miss Easterling. You get to shave my head. Students could spend their tickets on a chance to enter the drawing. How many you want to buy? Taking one more look at his handsome gelled locks he stands firm in his decision. To know that there's someone else that believes in you and that's trying to have a mere image of what you're going through and just spread awareness. Kaden. I did it to support one of my teachers that was a big part of my life. They do so many things for me and I want to like, I guess pay them back in a way. Eli was able to pay Miss Easterling back with an act of kindness that no amount of money or tickets could ever buy. In Shelby County, Hannah Ward, WBRC. We love you, Miss Easterling! Fox 6 News, on your side.